All right, guys and girls, good morning and welcome, Vips and Games here. It feels kind of weird saying that after rebranding the channel, but we got a little bit of news here for Helldivers 2, which is pretty big, and uh, I just thought I'd cover it, to be honest, because I'm kind of enjoying this game, and uh, I think it's good, and people should know about it, so there you go. So today we're going to be discussing Helldivers patch 1.000.200. Why they have this number denomination, I will never know. Uh, it is a little bit awkward and confusing for a lot of people, including myself. But uh, we're going to discuss this today and just take a little dive into what's actually coming in this patch. So here we go. All right, so for liberty, freedom, and democracy, good day, Helldivers. Today, we have a slightly bigger update for you. Be able to assist in the liberation efforts of our galaxy, as well as some of the new environmental threats to watch out for. Main liberty, guide your path. So the overview for the patch is, the update includes balance changes to all missions, all stratagems, weapons, enemies, and Helldivers general fixes and stability improvements and an increased level cap mm, interesting so gameplay wise we're looking at we're getting some new sort of weather effects planetary effects known as blizzards and sandstorms which is a little bit similar to sort of the fire tornadoes and some of the other stuff that's already currently in the game very interesting that they're actually increasing the number of these and they're uh, adding you know for me i feel that's quite a widespread it's quite a big overhaul and update and it's going to add a lot more variety to the missions so i feel that that's a really really good adding increase level cap the cap has been increased from 50 to 150 my god i think i'm level 33 and that has took me ages like the fact that people are level 50 and they're wanting to go higher is not only a testament to how good this game actually is but how crazy people are for it balancing okay so we've got quite a few little balancing things going on here retrieve essential planet personnel apparently this is a bit of a pain point with players um i've not really experienced it myself maybe i'm not good enough at the game or don't understand the dynamic enough to understand why it's broken or whatnot but they've moved the enemy spawn points further away from the objective to give players a fairer chance of defending the location. Um, I think it's the mission where you let the guys out there, out of like the houses, you keep pressing the buttons and stuff. Uh, I've not really had too many issues with that mission, if it is that one. Uh, but then again, I am only playing on maybe difficulty five or six. Uh, not much higher than that. There are a few civilians required, so now you need less civilians required to complete the mission on the higher difficulties, which is good. The Destroy Command Bunkers mission now has more objective locations. The mission was too easy before compared to the other missions. It can now appear in operations from difficulty five. Okay. It can now appear in operations from difficulty five. So he's saying that like it's not going to be available in lower difficulties anymore is that is that right people are just gonna have to sort of get up, right so i think because the mission's so easy for getting xp people will just sort of grind it on easy difficulties just to get free xp so i think they made it now so it's at least the challenge that you've got to sort of struggle through on difficulty five quite interesting Operation modifiers have the negative effects of operation modifiers that increase strategy cooldowns or calling times. So, sort of anything that disables stratagems, um, for anyone that doesn't know, your stratagems are like sort of your abilities and your weaponry and your callings and whatnot. Um, on some of the missions, there's ones that increase the cooldown of actually getting your weapons dropped in, uh, your nukes and stuff like that and there's some that disable them completely and it can literally make the game unplayable to a point where when it happens you're like just literally sat waiting for, for it to pass so you can get your stratagems again and if you die uh, when this stuff's happening it's such a nightmare so i'm glad to see that this is a big one 
Primary, second, and support weapons are all being adjusted. This is quite a big one, actually. Let's do the arc thrower. Fixed charging inconsistencies. We now always take one second to charge a shot. The arc thrower. Also reducing distance from 50 meters to 35 and increasing the stagger force. Guard dog now restores full ammo from supply boxes. That's very good. Anti material rifle damage increased by 30%. Breaker incendiary, damage per bullet increased from 15 per bullet, 20 per bullet. Fire damage per tick increased by 50% from all sources. That's pretty massive buff. Liberator penetration now has full auto mode. Interesting. Dominator increased damage from 200 to 300. Dominator now has increased stagger. Diligence counter sniper increased armor penetration from light to medium. I'm glad they're making some of these adjustments to the armor penetrating weaponry. I just feel sometimes that an armored uh, enemy is just impossible to set down sometimes, especially when teammates don't look, tend to like bring it in sort of the armor penetrating weaponry because it's just either not as fun or more tricky to use. Lugger has reduced stagger, reduced damage from 280 to 250, reduced demolition force. Fixed armor penetration tag in the menu. Slugger, Liberator, Concussive, and Senator. Fixed incorrect armor penetration tags in the menu. Recallless rifle. Increase the number of rockets you can store from the supply box from two to three. That's good. Bear increase the number of missiles you can restore from the supply box from one to two. A heavy machine gun. Right. So apparently, if you change the RPM on this gun, you could absolutely drill down big targets on harder difficulties um, and they didn't like that for anyone that doesn't know you can change the rate of fire of weapons in this game if you're holding the reload button on any platform a lot of guns have hidden sort of rpm changes rate of fire all sorts of little things that you can tweak on them and it varies from gun to gun now with the heavy machine gun you could actually like whack it up to full rpm and just absolutely drill things uh, they've reduced that to 950 now. That's kind of interesting. Strategy with Patriot Exosuit Rockets now penetrate armor only on direct hit. Uh, I don't really understand what that means. Uh, there, there possibly was something where armor was being broken by sort of external factors, bugs, or maybe splash damage of rockets. But they've uh, tweaked that up now so you've got to hit the target head on balancing adjustments have been made to check oh my god this is the big one for me oh balancing adjustments have been made to charges normal melee attack now does less damage against exosuits bile spewer and nurses spewer do less damage with their puke this this one you used to, oh my god the amount of times i've been one shot by these is unreal it's just such a pain point um, you can sort of dodge the ability and it clip you to the stop look at you and then they like spit this bile and even if you use the, uh, the the sort of jump dodge left or right it would still hit you and just one shot you oh my god oh, I hate that ability so much the bile titan could no longer be stunned shriekers could no longer create bug breaches oh my god this is big these shrieker things used to like just sit there I think this is what it's pertaining to. And they'd like scream up in the air and it just start like basically bringing in an absolute massive amount of enemies uh, from burrows and all sorts. Uh, it was just an absolute pain in the ass. Greek is hitting you while they are dead now does significant less damage. Right, Helldivers, balancing adjustments are made to heavy and medium armor, protects better. He now took about 10% less damage than before while wearing heavy. 5% less whilst wearing medium. Fortify Commando and Light Armour is unchanged. Thank the Lord. Basically, the armour prior to this patch did nothing. If you put on heavy armour, the only thing you were doing was slowing yourself down, making the game harder. Um, it actually had no bigger resistance, which I found rather bizarre. Also, some of the armor values and other stats that were in the actual armor suit vendor and stuff like that. They just did nothing. I don't I don't understand that. Maybe it was unfinished. 
Okay, so fixes incoming. Fixed an issue where when you save settings for PS5, it will be reset when the game is rebooted, causing things such as loadout and hint settings to reset. My God, this is well annoying. So basically, every time I went in, I had to disable hints and stuff like that. And every time I relogged the game, it basically be like I was a first time player. It would be highlighting everything, telling me, you know, stratagems do this, armor does that, this does this, this does that. And it was just like, constantly, tutorial mode. It was quite frustrating. Didn't really happen at first, but as the game sort of carried on, like the first couple of little patches, it started happening. I don't know if it was a bug. Enemies now properly target exosuits. Previously, many enemies effectively ignored exosuits if a held down was on foot was available for them to target. Fixed exosuits being able to fire their weapons while opening the minimap. Well, that's interesting. The Helldiver and exosuit both had a bug that made them sometimes take explosion damage multiple times, making things like automaton rockets too deadly. Yeah, I remember the first time I actually got in an exosuit. I don't have the stratagem to call it in. And I was on um, an automaton map and there was one available to get in. They were like at this base, so I climbed in it and I literally got like all these rockets fired at me and it just blew up instantly. And I was like, well, that's a really pointless. I think there was like a little event for the exosuits. I was like, that's completely pointless. Like why, why are these in the game? They, they just don't do anything. So thankfully they fixed that. Oh, automaton enemy constellations that prefer to spawn more of a certain Devastator types did not work. We now function as should. This means that sometimes when playing against the automatons, you'll face more Devastators instead of other enemy types. We have improved the systems that prevent hell pods steering close to larger important objects. We have solved issues where the effective area around objects was a lot larger than intended. We have reduced the number of objects that prevent hell pods steering. This system is intended to prevent soft blocks where players can drop on important interaction points or drop into unintended places. We continue to monitor the state of the system after the update to see if additional tweaks are necessary. So basically what this means is there were times where the pods could get stuck. Uh, they could get you killed and there were certain things where you could sort of land the pod on objects that you can't really get on top and basically be invincible and just mow things down. Uh, they've kind of fixed that. Uh, they also uh, fixed a case where the ground under some assets could be bombed, causing them to blow. So that's been side. Ballistic shield changes, collision mesh has been slightly increased in size for more forgiveness. Changes to shield poses so that less of the held average is exposed. That's great. Because you're already at a disadvantage using uh, your sidearm with the shield. So that's pretty good. Address the bug where part of the held dive will become vulnerable while using the shield in first person. So there must have been some sort of bug that when you went in first person, it made you sort of more liable to get hit. That's interesting. Invisible, the fact that they've addressed that and noticed that it is a big deal. Invisible collision partially blocking the doorway leading to the launch pad in the tutorial. Known issues. Right, this should be interesting because there's a lot of bugs still inherent that crash the game. These are issues that were introduced by the patch and have been worked on or are in a previous version and have not yet been fixed. Game might crash when picking up a snowball or throwing back a grenade. Various issues involving friendly advice and crossplay. Cross platform friendly advice might not show up in the friendship quest tab. Players cannot unfriend other players befriended by a friend code. Players cannot unblock players that were in the friends list beforehand. Players cannot befriend players with Steam names shorter than three characters. Explosive weapon starts including only direct hit damage but not explosive damage. Basically splash damage, which as we discussed earlier on in the patch, there has been some issues with. Explosives do not break your limbs except for when you fly into a rock. Planet liberation reaches 100% at the end of every defend mission. Grinding the deep water with vitality boosters equipped. Puts all divers in a broken state. Gradium beam might attach itself to an enemy, but it will deploy to its original location. The player customization like title or body type may reset after restarting the game. Read up, dive out, 
end of transmission. Release Captain Halberg. This, for me, has been a biggie. And I'm glad that I took the time to bring this to you. This is from the official Steam patch notes, but they do pertain to the PS5. Everything in this is for both platforms. I've double checked that. Been covered by quite a lot of different news outlets, IGN, uh, even the standard newspaper, and quite a plethora of others, uh, Twitter, whatnot. So I have looked into this quite deep. After I got a mysterious patch on my PS5 yesterday. So we're going to be playing some Helldivers today. And I'm also going to be doing a video about what I think of the current state of Helldivers. And what lies in the future, which will be featuring some gameplay from yours truly. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, comment, like, subscribe, ring the post notification bell and all that good jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck out there. All right. Peace out.